runway uh, 35 here at, uh, uh, for a uh, westbound departure. 718 over uh, tower, thank you. Left, uh, correction, left crosswind departure approved, runway 35, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 35, left crosswind departure approved, uh, does this 18121. Skag down on whiskey, traffic four miles southwest of Aurora, entering left base at pattern altitude, Skyhawk. I'll keep an eye out for the traffic, thanks, 6911. Skyhawk, a 07 uniform, traffic of midfield loft downwind departure, climbing out of altitude of indicates 1,900, Skyhawk. 07 uniform is looking for traffic. Aurora Tower, Cherokee 7428 Romeo, holding short runway 35 east departure. Skyhawk, down on whiskey, traffic no longer a factor, contact Portland approach. Contacting Portland approach, thanks. 691 with you. Skyhawk 07 uniform, traffic no factor, roaming tree 5, clear touch and go, one departure prior to your arrival, Cherokee. Traffic no factor, clear touch and go, 3 5, we'll keep an eye out for that departing traffic. 07 uniform. Cherokee 7428, Romeo, Alvaro Tower, thank you. Right turn east, approved, roaming tree 5, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, roaming tree 5, right turn out to the east, 28 Romeo. Skag 07 uniform, traffic out the departure in DC 3. Looking for traffic, 07 uniform. That was fun. That yeah. was awesome. Skag 07 uniform, uh, make a right 360 bass, big, correction, make a right 360 back to base leg for wake turbulence. Right 360 to re enter the base leg, 07 uniform. 350 set, feed off the brakes full power. Engine instrument in the green. Power takeoff. Lima Foxtrot is eight miles to the south, uh, descending out of 3,300 for a full stop with information tango. Skag 787 Lima Foxtrot over a tower, make straight in, runway 35. Make straight in, one runway 35, 7 Lima Foxtrot. There he goes. That's super cool. That was fun. Uh -huh. Nice little treat. <laughs> All right, making our right turn out. Attention, our crowd for our state airport of mission uniform current. I'm gonna do some ham radio contacts up around the mountain seven, and, fox trot, and uh, send it out to the guys. Uh, full stop, 7 Lima Foxtrot. Skag 7 Lima Foxtrot, thank you. Number two, follow the Skyhawk, two mile left base, Roman Tree 5, clear to land. Number two, looking for traffic, uh, clear to land, runway Tree 5, 7 Lima Foxtrot. All right, we have 2102 Zulu. Hello, CQ, 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 two meters, Whiskey 7, November, Yankee Aeronautical Mobile is a Piper Cherokee off the ground, Aurora Airport out of 4,000, climbing 9,500, direct Mount Hood, QRZ, any station, please. And 7 IOS from St. Paul. November 7, India, Oscar Sierra, Whiskey 7, Norway, Yankee Aeronautical Mobile, uh, we are direct Mount Hood. We're going to film that on a couple of cameras and make a YouTube video. Got your audio being recorded, too, so we'll make sure we send that down your way. Uh, how do I sound? Yeah, you're, uh, you're loud and clear, full scale. Uh, probably line of sight here from uh, St. Paul, so I'm just to, the, just to the west of you guys. Yeah, awesome. All right, so uh, we're at 4,300. We're going to go up, I think I said, to 9,500. A little bit of smoke in the air, but we'll, we're w way above that right now, and... Really good clear visibility of Mount Hood today. I could also see Mount Jefferson. 
uh, there at about uh, 2 o'clock off the right front side of the airplane. Uh, anyway, the name here is Bill Bravo, India, Lima, Lima. Back to you. Yeah, roger, roger. Thanks for the contact. I'm going to jump out of the vehicle here. Glad I got you. And 7 iOS. Yeah, very cool. We'll send that video your way. Just make sure your email's good in QRZ, and uh, you'll get to hear your excellent audio on the recording. Uh, 73s, and we'll see you later in 7 iOS, W7NY, Air Mobile, QRZ. Air Mobile, K7RMO. Kilo 7, Romeo Mike Oscar, Whiskey 7, Norway Yankee is a Piper Cherokee at a 4,600, climbing 9,500. Direct Mount Hood. Name is Bill Bravo, India, Lima, Lima. Yeah, I, uh, I see you on my ADSB system here. Uh, Aurora, and uh, you were just passing 4,000 feet when I looked. Oh, that's awesome. You could track our flight. That's cool. And anyone who's listening out there, you can go on to Flight Aware. Uh, is one of, uh, I think the other program is, uh, I can't remember the name, but that might be what you're on. Flightaware.com, and you can put their tail number in, which is November 7428 Romeo, November 7428 Romeo, and follow us along as uh, we do some ham radio uh, contacts on 2 meter FM. Uh, back over to you, K7RMO, W7NY. Yeah, W7NY, yeah, we've talked before. Um, yeah, I'm using virtual radar on my computer, and over in a Utility room, I have a Raspberry Pi and an SDR Play 2 uh, tied into a disc cone antenna on the roof, and they act as a server, and one of the things it'll do is ADSB, and I've got that running right now. So that's how I'm seeing you. Well, that is super cool. That sounds like you got a really high-speed setup right there. We're pretty basic, just uh, running analog 2-meter FM. Uh, the radio in here is an ICOM 2300, and I have a handheld noise-canceling microphone. And down below on the belly of the airplane is a quarter-wave whip, uh, Larson uh, whip antenna bent back at a 45-degree angle. Uh, but altitude is king, so we got the antenna up just over a mile high right now. And you have absolutely superb audio. You'll get to hear that. I'll be sending you a link to the uh, YouTube video. Uh, again, uh, nice to uh, work you again from the airplane. Back to you. All right, yeah, very nice to hear from you again, uh, and thank you very much, sir. Uh, have a good flight. K7 RMO clear. Awesome. Good talking to you again. You have a great day. K7 RMO, W7NY, Air Mobile 73. See you later. QRZ. November Lima 7, Golf Whiskey. Kilo Charlie 6 here, Victor Whiskey, also a pilot. Okay, got two. Got uh, November Lima 7, Golf Whiskey. And then, I'm sorry I missed the prefix, but it's Sierra Victor, Victor Whiskey. I'll get you in a second. Let's start with NL7GW. You have W7NY Air Mobile, Piper Cherokee out of uh, 5,500, climbing 9,500. We just left Aurora Airport. We're heading almost due east, about 070 degrees, direct to Mount Hood. We're going to be recording that uh, for a YouTube video. Back to you. Excellent. Name here is Kurt, Kilo Uniform Romeo Tango, and I'm located in uh, Oregon City. And a uh, very nice signal, nice audio as well. So uh, um, good luck on the flight. And if you're headed east, uh, you must be headed towards Mount Hood. You got it, Kurt. And man, do you have a nice signal. S9 Plus and your audio is absolutely pristine. Um, you'll get to hear that on the video when I send it your way. Uh, just make sure your email's good in QRZ and you'll get that. And you'll be able to see what we were seeing during our QSO. So yep, we are definitely heading Mount Hood. We're kind of doing that volcano series. I did uh, Mount Baker, Mount Rainier, Mount St. Helens, Mount Adams, and now we're filming uh, Mount Hood. One of these days we'll get down to Mount Jefferson, which I can see about 2.30 off the right front of the airplane. Uh, name here is Bill. Bravo, India, Lima, Lima. Back over to you, Kurt, for your final LN7 GW, W7NY. Yeah, W7NY, NL7 GW. Hey, do you get any turbulence uh, when you're up uh, at that altitude near Mount Hood? Maybe. <laughs> we'll see when we get up there. Right now the air is really smooth. So I'm pretty happy about that, but when you get near a mountain, it does different things. It's interacting with the terrain and that sort of stuff, uh, so we won't know until we're pretty close. Uh, but I'll be maintaining about at least 3,000 feet above ground level as I go around. I'm going to be going counterclockwise and then heading back to uh, Tacoma Narrows Airport in uh, Geek Harbor, Washington after that. Uh, back to you. All right. Hey, 73, there's other people calling you, but uh, have a very nice and safe flight. NL7GW. Okay, NL7GWW7NY. Thanks very much, 73s, and we'll see you later, Kurt. Uh, how about Sierra Victor Whiskey? You have W7NY. 
Kilo Charlie 6 here, Victor Whiskey, name is Steve, also a pilot uh, working for NBC News, currently located in beautiful uh, Portland, uh, shooting a story about the bicycle bus. But I just want to give you a quick shout out and say hello from one pilot to another pilot. Well, that is super cool. You have a great signal. Everybody I've talked to so far since I left Aurora has had an absolute pristine signal into the airplane, and you're no exception. I'll definitely be sending you a link to the YouTube video when it's uploaded. Hopefully we'll get some good footage down there into uh, into uh, Mount Hood. I have a GoPro mounted under the left wing, a 4K GoPro. It's recording right now. And then I have a, a POV recording in 2.7K that's mounted on me. And then, of course, I'm going to do some handheld photography with uh, HD. So uh, anyway, curious to know, what, what do you fly? And have you done uh, ham radio ops from the airplane? Back to you. I'm currently not current, and I haven't done uh, too much uh, ham radio. So I've never made uh, the interface uh, into the uh, into the audio panel from my two-way radio. I never completed that. Uh, so far, I'm I'm certified to fly a high-performance aircraft, uh, Cherokee 172 RG Cutlass 182s. I know also. Uh, I'm not certified for it, but I've also flown the helicopter uh, AS350 A Star. Awesome. You got a nice resume going there. Yeah, I've flown some of the airplanes you mentioned, some of the high performance stuff when I was uh, doing commercial work in uh, in Aurora, Colorado. So that's awesome. It's great to, uh, to uh, work you from the airplane today on this uh, beautiful sunny day. We're above the smoke. There is some smoke in the area. There's probably about three different TFRs. Uh, firefighting TFRs on the on the moving map right now. So, uh, but we're well above it. And the visibility into Mount Hood is absolutely superb. So I'm hoping to get some really good uh, footage when we get over there. KC6 SVW W7NY. I look forward to seeing that link. I gotta jump out and get to work. But I wanted to give you a shout out, anyways. Uh, Kilo Charlie Six here, Victor Whiskey. Have a safe flight, wonderful flight. On an envy your position. Yeah, right on. You'll get the link. Great working you, and uh, we'll see you later. Uh, maybe we'll do it again someday. KC6, SBW, W7NY, Air Mobile 73. See you later. Uh, QRZ. W7, November Yankee, Kilo India 7, Quebec, X-Ray, Quebec. Uh-oh. W7NY, KJ7, ZTW. Okay, got two in there. Um, I have a uh, Kilo India 7, Quebec, X-Ray, Quebec. And a Kilo Juliet 7 Zulu, Tango Whiskey, both outstanding signals into the airplane. Let's start with a KI-7 QXQ, W7NY Air Mobile. Go ahead. Yeah, hi, Bill. Uh, name here is Banyan. That's Bravo, Adam November, Yankee Adam November, like the tree. Uh, did mechanic work on uh, Cherokees and uh, down in San Diego. Um, glad to hear you got a really great signal there. I'm QRP, 5 watts, uh, Mount Tabor South. And, uh, yeah, I hope you have a happy, safe flight, man. Oh, that's awesome. You're right there on Mount Tabor. I used to uh, race uh, road bikes uh, up there on Mount Tabor. I think they called it Velo on the Volcano, so I'm real familiar with that area. I used to work in Portland. Uh, man, do you have a nice signal into the uh, airplane, Benny. Uh, you'll be really impressed, especially five watts from a handheld. That's incredible. It's like you're sitting right next to me. Name here's Bill. Bravo, India, Lima, Lima. Back to you. Yeah, hey Bill, um, you've got a great signal too, obviously you got about uh, five or 6,000 feet right now. Um, I was wondering, are you, uh, are you uh, a warrior, an archer, or an uh, arrow? None of those, I'm a 140, 140, over. Oh, 140, I thought you were in a PA-28, my bad. Well, anyway, hey, um, great talking to you, I'm sure you got a lot of other people that want to talk to you. I'll say 73 to you, Bill, uh, Kilo India 7, Quebec, X-ray Quebec, have a great flight. Well, it is a PA-28. It's a PA-28-140. <laughs> anyway, yep, we're in a 140. We're at a 7,500. Got 2,000 to go. We'll level off and then uh, fly counterclockwise around uh, Mount Hood. Make a video into there. You'll be impressed with your audio when I send you a link to the YouTube video. Nice working you, and good to meet you, Banny. Enjoy the rest of your day. KI-7 QXQ, W7NY, 73 see you later. How about the Kilo Juliet 7, Zulu Tango Whiskey? You have W7NY Air Mobile. W7NY. Yeah, just thought I'd say hello. I'm uh, Santa Clara, uh, Eugene, Oregon. And uh, yeah, your signal is just blasting right in. Oh yeah, wow. You're down in Eugene, probably 100 miles uh, south, pretty much due south of where we are right now. We're, uh, let's see, we are 23 nautical miles now from Mount Hood. Uh, Copilot has the controls right now, and uh, we're in a steady climb. 
coming up on 8,000, climbing 9,500. And uh, Mount Hood looks as beautiful as ever as we get closer to it. It's ever more majestic. Back to you. Fantastic. Sounds like you're having a great day today. Yeah, you're the only uh, you're the only signal that I've got coming in. Everyone else you're talking to, I wasn't able to hear. So uh, you have a great day today, and I'm going to let you get back to it so you can uh, contact a few more. And be safe up there. KJ7, ZTW, clear. Okay, KJ7, ZTW, W7NY, Air Mobile. Yeah, that's almost always the case that you guys can't hear each other, uh, but you're all here on me. Antenna's up at 8,000 right now, so... Uh, probably able to reach out at least 200 miles any direction right now. So anyway, good uh, work on you today. Thanks for uh, the Eugene contact. Kilo Juliet 7 Zulu Tango Whiskey. Whiskey 7 Norway Yankee Air Mobile 73. See you later. QRZ. Harley Golf. Hey, Hotel. Whiskey 7 November Yankee. This is Kilo Juliet 7 Juliet Juliet Echo. Do you have a copy? Okay, I have three. Let me try my best here. There was a couple that doubled, but I have one ending Charlie Golf, one ending Mike Hotel. That one sounds familiar. And a Kilo Juliet 7, Juliet, Juliet Echo. Let's start with a, the uh, Charlie Golf Station. Go ahead for W7NY. Kilo, Kilo 7, Golf, Charlie Golf. Kilo, Kilo 7. Okay, got it that time. Got you logged in 2116 Zulu. I log every call from the airplane into uh, QRZ. You might have heard we're also filming the flight. Your audio will be on the GoPro uh, audio and transferred to YouTube video. You'll get to see what we were seeing uh, during our QSO. And so um, I'm going to turn it back over to you. Another fantastic signal into the airplane, S9 Plus, with pristine audio. Uh, back to Kilo Kilo 7, Golf Charlie Golf, W7NY Air Mobile. I appreciate that. I'm uh, running 25 watts mobile out of a mag mount, just leaving work. I'm in Millersburg, um, headed south towards Eugene area. Um, I look forward, if you could, uh, if you log in QRZ, I will confirm. I don't have a way to log right now as I'm driving, but I look forward to the video, and thank you. Yeah, no worries. Uh, 146.520, and I got you in at 21.15 Zulu. Uh, video is coming your way. As long as your email's good, QRZ, you're going to get it And uh, in a few days here. Uh, nice work in you from the airplane, and you have a great day. 73, see you later. Uh, how about the Mike Hotel station? This is Whiskey 7 Norway Yankee Air Mobile. We are uh, currently out of 8,500. Got 1,000 feet to go. We're going to level off. Here's Whiskey 7 Bravo Mike Hotel, W7BMH. Okay, Whiskey 7 Bravo. Mike Hotel, Whiskey 7, Norway, Yankee. I got you 100%, a little bit broken. Uh, curious to know what your QTH is. We are now 19 nautical miles due west of Mount Hood. We're going to be flying counterclockwise around the mountain today at uh, 9,500. Back to you. Hey, Bill, you are coming. Yeah, sorry, I lost you there, but I do have you in the log, W7 BMH. I got you logged in 2117 Zulu, and uh, I'll be sending a video link your way when it's uploaded. Uh, 73, uh, see you later. How about Kilo Juliet 7, Juliet, Juliet Echo. You have Whiskey 7, Norway Yankee Air Mobile, go ahead. Whiskey 7, Norway Yankee. This is Kilo Juliet 7, Juliet, Juliet Echo. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear me um, very well. You are on the opposite side of Mount Hood right now. I am on a five watt hand power. Hiking um, on a ridgeline, kind of between the east fork of the Hood River and uh, the Dog River, um, and I'm on the east side of Mount Hood. You might be directly behind it. Let me know if you can hear me. Oh, dude, that's awesome! You're hiking with a handheld on the other side of Mount Hood. We're uh, we're at 9,000 now. We've got 500 to go. I hear you, a little bit broken, but yeah, you're 100% copy. That's really impressive. Uh, I'm looking forward to sending you the video. Um, Anyway, if you could film, if you have the ability to film s some of your hike, I can include that in the video. You'll, so you'll see yourself hiking, working into the airplane, and uh, you'll see what we're seeing at the same time. That would be pretty awesome. Um, I'll send you my contact information. You could, uh, you could find a way to uh, transmit that, that video to me. That would be a lot of fun. Let me know if that's possible. KJ7, Juliet, Juliet Echo, W7NY, Air Mobile. KJ7, 
AK-7 Recording right now, I can hear, I think I heard you fly around on the last pass. Um, I don't currently hear you, um, but yeah, I'll, I'll send this video to you. Um, I'm on QR dead, you can find me there. Um, yeah, um, I'm actually recording right now. I can hear, I think I heard you fly around on the last pass. Um, I don't currently hear you. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll send this video to you. Um, I'm on QRZ, you can find me there. Um, I'm curious, uh, what, what the setup is and like, where's the setup Um, I'm curious, uh, what, what the setup is in, in the plane, how you have the, like, where's the antenna mounted? Yeah, I think you're a little broken now. Uh, I think you asked what my setup is. Um, we're, work, we're running an ICOM 2300 right now, 25 watts, into a belly-mounted quarter wave uh, whip antenna that's bent back at a 45-degree angle. We're at, uh, we've got the antenna almost two miles in the air. We're at 9,500. We're going to go counterclockwise around Mount Hood and hopefully get some good video footage as we go around the mountain. Yeah, I think you're a little broken now. Uh, I think you asked what my setup is. Uh, we're, we're running an ICOM 2300 right now, 25 watts, into a belly-mounted quarter wave. When I get really close, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna stop the ham radio ops, and we're gonna film from a handheld camera. So, and then we'll pick them back up on the other side. Uh, anyway, back over to you. Hopefully, you can still hear me. KJ7, Juliet, Juliet Echo, W7 in my air mobile. Got you logged in by the way at 2118. Back to you. Thank you. Yeah, well, I'll definitely take a look at your video um, once it gets posted, and uh, I'll send you this video that I'm recording right now. I, I'm at about 4,000 feet um, on a ridge line, just for your information, but thank you for the contact. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. Gotcha. 4,000 feet on a ridge line on the opposite side of uh, Mount Hood. We're almost leveling off here. We're at 200 feet to go. We're at uh, 9,300 right now. Just a little bit of bumps. I'm going to take the controls of the airplane. I'm going to take a brief delay and then come back up and uh, work a few more stations as we get closer to the mountain. This is W7N White Aeronautical Mobile Piper Cherokee, 9,500 feet eastbound. Uh, we'll be flying around Mount Hood today and uh, filming that as we fly around counterclockwise. I'll come back up in a minute. We're going to be uh, monitoring for now. KC6FLG Mobile, handheld portable. Uh, Kilo Charlie 6 Fox Lima Golf. I recognize that call, FLG. I know I've worked you from the airplane before. Uh, you have Bill here, Bravo, India, Lima, Lima. And uh, we're level 9,500 now. We're 11 nautical miles due west of Mount Hood. Uh, how do I sound on your way? Full quieting, Bill. Uh, sound great. Kevin's the name here. KC6 FLG Mobile in Bend. Yeah, last time I worked you, I was up on the Hood Canal in Hamahama, and I worked you from the uh, radio club in Longview and a couple other times mobile in Olympia. But today I'm in uh, Bend, Oregon there. Go ahead. Oh, dude, you're all the way down in Bend. Wow, that's awesome. That's got to be, what do you think, about 150 nautical miles at least uh, off the right front of the airplane over? Probably. Yeah, you're full scale right now. So I'm on Highway 20 just coming into Bend right now. So I'm, I'm actually going to be living here in Bend right now. So uh, I was in the process of moving and selling my house in Castle Rock. So so I'm now residing in Bend. Oh, well, good for you. You had an amazing signal into the airplane. I'm not sure if I made a video and sent it to you last time we spoke, but you'll be getting this one uh, for sure as long as your email's good. Um, I'll send a link your way. I think uh, you'll be impressed. We're looking down into a glacier right now as uh, we're 9.3 nautical miles from the peak of the mountain. And uh, Mount Hood stands at 11,269 feet. That might be 99. I'm trying to read it. Uh, 299, I think. 11,299. We're going to be at 9,500, um, just above, about 2,000 feet above the terrain around the mountain as we make our way counterclockwise, filming down into it. So pretty impressive stuff. Back over to you, Kevin, KC6FLG, W7NY. Okay, Bill, yeah, you're sounding great, full quieting, so it's always good to hear you on 5-2, so, and whenever I'm, I'm mobile all over the place, so I'll be back up in, in Washington again, because I always have business to do up there, and I'm always listening on 5-2, always great to hear you, so, anyway, have a great day out there, and enjoy the flight, and I'm sure I'll work you again, uh, W7NY from KC6FLG.
Very cool. Do do reach out to us if you're here. It's always good to hear a, a familiar voice. I'm looking down now on the uh, south side of the mountain, and I can see the ski resort. Everything's, of course, very dry down there, uh, but I could definitely see the ski apparatus, and uh, we should be coming over the lodge uh, here in a little bit as we make our way from west around the south side of the mountain, then east coming around. But boy, is it ever impressive. What a beautiful sight. What beautiful visibility. Thanks again, Kevin, for reaching out. Good to hear from you, man. KC6FLG, enjoy work, living down there in Bend. This is W7NY Air Mobile. 73, see you later, and QRZ. W November 7, uniform Foxtrot. Alpha Madras Mobile. Okay, two stations. November 7, uniform Fox, and a, a station in Madras, I believe. Didn't copy the call sign. Let's go ahead, November 7, uniform Fox. Whiskey 7, Norway, Yankee Air Mobile. Go ahead. Well, thanks for uh, taking the time to uh, get an Air Mobile station up there. That's pretty incredible. Uh, this is my first Air Mobile contact. I'm uh, down in Salem, and I have a five-element beam pretty much pointed right at Mount Hood. So timing worked out great. Uh, thanks for being up there. N7UF. Oh, you got it, man. N7UF. Sounds like you're sitting right next to me. And you do have your antenna pointed the right direction. I'm 5.4 nautical miles now from the summit, which stands about 11,300 feet. We're going to be staying about 2,000 feet above the terrain as we make our way around the mountain. And uh, we're recording the flight, recording all audio from ham radio contacts as well. So we'll be sending that link to all the stations, including yours. Thanks for reaching out, N7UFW7NY. Uh, over to you for your final. Yeah, it's like you're sitting right next to me, too. That's what caught my attention. Uh, I was wondering what repeater it was on, and then it was uh, labeled as VHF calling in my radio. Uh, you are absolutely pegging my meter down here in Salem, uh, so the timing was right. Enjoy your flight. Be safe up there. Uh, enjoy the weather. It absolutely looks stunning out there. And once again, thanks for being up there and doing that. N7UF. N7UF, W7NY, thanks for reaching out. I'm going to be off to the side here a little bit as I film on my uh, high def uh, handheld camera. So I will come back on the air here in a couple of minutes. Thanks for being my last contact for now. This W7NY Air Mobile will be off to the side. There is beautiful Mount Hood. I'm going to try to film that out, my. Wow, that is incredible. The visibility doesn't get any better than that. And panning back around to the left. Right there's Mount Rainier off in the distance, panning left as we continue around. That is Mount St. Helens. Right there off the, uh, the tip the back trailing edge tip of the wing, Mount St. Helens. Uh, again, Mount Rainier off the, the lead edge of the, the wing. And just to say, that is beautiful Mount Hood off the left side of the airplane. And it is fantastic. Looking at the uh, ski lodge, I can see the ski lift down there. That's right underneath the airplane. Uh, there is some snow down there. Of course, that's a glacier. But otherwise, it's really, really dry uh, down there as we make our way around counterclockwise. But man, what a sight for sore eyes. And we're gonna start to turn the airplane here. Again, we're probably about 2,000 AGL as we make our way around the mountain. So the air is super, super smooth. And that is a very good thing. And there is Mount Rainier coming into view as we make our way around the uh, west, uh, east side, I'm sorry, of the mountain. We're uh, looking at the south side of the mountain coming around the east side. And there's some uh, permanent glaciers on the east side of the mountain as we work our way around. What a sight. What a beautiful, beautiful, amazing sight. I'm gonna try to tilt the camera down for that terrain down below. Yeah, those glaciers, I'm sure, remain there. They've probably been there for hundreds, if not thousands of years. Of course, they're in a constant state of melt, but they never fully melt. 
And as we come around the north side, there'll probably be some more prominent glaciers uh, because they're in the shade. They stay pretty vibrant year-round, I'm sure. These ones do face the sun, so they are subject to the melting. And there's some more substantial glaciers as we come around the north side. Very, very, very beautiful sight. What an amazing, amazing sight. To try to zoom in on that glacier right there. That's pretty impressive stuff. Very, very, very cool. Back now, I feel a little bit wider. say pretty much goodbye to Mount Hood as we make our way back to the Camineros Airport. What a beautiful sight and what a great day to fly around Mount Hood today. Wow. Pretty cool. Yeah, how it like bunches up like it's moving. Hello CQ, 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 two meters, Whiskey 7 November, Yankee Aeronautical Mobile is a Piper Cherokee at 9,500 feet. We just flew around Mount Hood counterclockwise and we are filming this flight on GoPro cameras for upload to YouTube video. And we're also sending the, a link of that video to all ham radio contacts we make. All audio is being recorded. QRZ, any station please. KJDKTLO, HCY. I had something ending Oscar and something Charlie Yankee. Let's try ending Oscar, W7NY. Go ahead. Kilo, Juliet, six, Whiskey, Lima, Oscar. Okay, gotcha that time. Kilo, Juliet, six, Whiskey. Oh, I've got to read my writing here. I think it's Lima, Oscar. Let me make sure when you come back, let me know. And I uh, have a Charlie Yank. I'll get to you in a second. Uh, let's start. KJ6WLOW7NY Air Mobile. Go ahead. Oh, wow. Incredible. I didn't think I'd actually make it out all the way to you guys. It's really cool to sit here and hear you guys' uh, uh, journey there around the mountain. Yeah, well, you have a great signal. Where are you at? I'm down here at, uh, just outside of Eugene, Oregon. Oh, man. Fantastic. You're about 100 and uh, I would say, I would put it at around 115 nautical miles now. Uh, behind the airplane on the other side of Mount Hood, but you're still making it here a little bit of scratchiness. Looking down over uh, at a forest fire, that's going to be at about uh, 11 o'clock, and that's generating a lot of smoke that's blowing to the southwest, and that's kind of blanketing the valley there on the southwest. Uh, but it's pretty darn good up here. I'm, I'm pointing the airplane straight at Mount St. Helens right now. We're at 9,500. Good job from Eugene. Back to you. Oh, wonderful. Well, you guys have uh, flight there, and uh, always happy to make the QSO here. Yeah, good job, man. Thanks for reaching out into the airplane, and uh, you have a great day. Kilo Juliet 7, Whiskey Lima Oscar, Whiskey 7, Norway Yankee Air Mobile 73. See you later. And uh, how about the Charlie Yankee, I think it is. Go, uh, go ahead for W7NY. Yes, Kilo Kilo 7, Hotel Charlie Yankee in Beaverton. Okay, gotcha. Kilo Kilo 7, Hotel Charlie Yankee, Whiskey 7, Norway Yankee. Gotcha logged in 2134. Great audio into the airplane. I am recording you uh, right now on a GoPro camera. You'll uh, you'll get to hear your uh, audio, uh, our entire QSO, and you'll be seeing it from a 4K underwing camera and a POV camera in the cockpit here. Uh, so anyway, we'll send that your way for sure. As long as your email's good, QRZ, you'll be getting that here in a few days. Uh, good job into the airplane. Little broken, but 100% copy. KJ, uh, sorry, KK7, HCY, W7NY, Air Mobile. Thank you much. Good signal, and this is the second time we talked, uh, 73 to you. Oh, very cool. Good to hear you again. I, I'm not too great at remembering call signs. I probably worked, I'm somewhere between five and 600 stations from the airplane. 
A lot of them are repeats, including you. Thanks for reaching out. Always do so if you hear us in the air. Good to hear a familiar voice. Uh, 73 KK7 HCY W7NY Air Mobile. See you later. Uh, QRZ. Whiskey Alpha 6 Hotel, Little Alpha, Idris. Kilo 7, Charlie Golf Oscar. Got two. Got a Whiskey Alpha 6 question mark and a Kilo 7 Charlie Golf Oscar. Let's try the WA6 for W7NY Air Mobile. Go ahead. Yeah, good afternoon. Whiskey Alpha 6 Hotel, November Alpha. Name is Greg, just north of Madras, Highway 97, heading to the Dalles. And uh, you've been sounding good down here. I'm a 45-year pilot, not year old, but uh, that's how many years I've been flying. So I'm enjoying your uh, QTH, your, or your, ah, your QSO. Go ahead. Oh, cool. You got me beat. I've only been flying uh, 21 years now. Uh, I do it now for fun. So uh, I uh, bought this airplane about three years ago. In fact, almost exactly three years ago, but it didn't start working ham radio ops until uh, about a year ago. And man, has it added flavor to the flying experience. Uh, it's fantastic merging two absolutely great hobbies there. Uh, Greg, what do you fly? Uh, WA6H, oh boy, trying to read my, my writing here. H, I think it's November Alpha. Correct me if I'm wrong, Greg. Uh, you have W7NY. W7NY, W-A-6-H-N-A, you've got it correct. Yeah, I've got a, a 182 that I managed to uh, aero commute for a couple of years to work down in Silicon Valley. That was fun. And, uh, but the, 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 the uh, one that I love is an RV-4 that I built 25 years ago. Oh, wow, RV-4. You could do aerobatics in that thing. This is certified for aerobatics, but not the kind of aerobatics you can do in that. <laughs> That must be a lot of fun, over. In a pickup truck pulling a little camper trailer. Back to you. Oh, sorry, ma'am, I think we doubled. I was just gonna say your RV is an aerobatic airplane that can do a lot more advanced stuff than this airplane. Although this is uh, certified for aerobatics, it's nothing like you can do in the RV, over. Yeah, just pretty much gentleman aerobatics, you know, the mainly, you know, positive G type of stuff. But but it is stressed for 6G, so it's a lot of fun. And uh, good airplane, and it's, uh, out of uh, the Northern Oregon uh, location. That's where Vans Aircraft is over in Aurora. Yeah, very cool. Man, great. Thanks for reaching out into the airplane from your mobile station there, Greg. And uh, good to work you, and I hope to do it again someday. Um, I'll say 73 to you. A few other stations in there. Uh, so you have a good one, WA6HMA, W7NY Air, Air Mobile. 73, see you later. How about the Kilo 7 Charlie Golf Oscar? You have W7NY. Go ahead. Kilo 7 Charlie Golf Oscar, W7NY. Nothing heard, bummer. This is Whiskey 7 November, Yankee Aeronautical Mobiles, a Piper Cherokee, 9,500 feet. Currently on heading 340, we're heading back to Tacoma Nars Airport in Gig Harbor. We just flew around Mount Hood, and uh, we recorded that on a couple of cameras. We're making a YouTube video, which we are sending to all the ham radio contacts that we make today. Uh, QRZ, any station. Kilo India 7, Tango Romeo Foxtrot. Kilo India 7, Tango Romeo Fox, Whiskey 7, Norway Yankee. Great signal into the airplane, uh, into our Piper Cherokee here today. Not sure if we've ever worked before, but the name here is Bill Bravo India Lima Lima. Back to you. QSL, Bill. Yeah, you're coming in probably 5-7 into McFinnville. There must be a little bit of trees or something in between us or the hill. But uh, you sound good? Oh, man, McMinnville. We're just coming over the Columbia River, and uh, we're maintaining 9,500. I'm looking down at a forest fire there at about oh, 11 o'clock off the nose of the airplane. That's something they've been fighting for some time now. They have a temporary flight restriction around that uh, for firefighting purposes, which... We're going to be well clear of as we uh, make our way back to uh, Tacoma Nares Airport in Geek Harbor, Washington. So we're looking down over at the uh, Bonneville Dam. That's almost directly below us, uh, 9,500 feet below us there on the Columbia River. Back to you, KI-7TRF, W7NY. Yep, sounds like we're making a good distance there. Starting to break up a little bit. Uh, which way is the smoke, uh, smoke blowing? And then I'll uh, let you go. Smoke's going southwest, southwest, and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if it's making its way all the way over over to you in McMinnville, over. 
QSL. Uh, thanks for that. Seven threes and uh, good luck. Okay, see you later. Thanks for reaching out, KI-7, TRFW-7, and Hawaii. That looks active. This is Whiskey 7 Norway Yankee Aeronautical Mobile, uh, Piper Cherokee 9500, on heading 330, QRZ. K7 RMO. RMO, go ahead for W7NY. Yeah, I was on ADSB uh, just after you left the Mount Hood area. There was a Prime Air 767 coming by uh, right in your direction. He's only about 1,800 feet above you, and he turned some to the south to pass far, you know, pretty good ways behind you, and then he's angled back up to the north more. Uh, he's probably going into Portland. It's just interesting to watch. K7 RMO. Yeah, we are looking at all of the air traffic on uh, ADSB here. We're watching all the traffic uh, as it comes into Portland International. We're just coming over uh, the Columbia River, 9,500. 9, and looking down at the Bonneville Dams, just below the airplane off the left wing there. Pretty cool stuff. We're going to be flying right above a forest fire. Uh, we're well clear of it. Uh, we're going to be above it by at least 5,000 feet. We're pointed directly at Mount St. Helens right now. Uh, back to you. All right, yeah, it's, uh, it's, I was just watching the ADSB flights and uh, saw that 767 come out of them. Hmm, he's only 1,800 feet above. Oh, and he's coming down. And sure enough, he swung, uh, you know, 30 degrees to the south or whatever and then flew that way and then corrected back to get online with Portland. So it's eh, kind of cool to see it. Yep, good stuff. We're seeing everything you're seeing uh, on our moving map here. We're geo-referenced over the, uh, the sectional as we fly along. We've got two iPads displaying that, as well as a uh, as well as a Garmin uh, Garmin GPS in the cockpit. So anyway, you have a good one. Good talking to you again, and uh, we'll catch you later. This is W7 and Y Air Mobile QRZ. Hey, seven R Mobile clear. Okay, W7NY Air Mobile is going to be uh, off and clear. Thanks to everyone for reaching out into the airplane. We'll be sending a link to that YouTube video as we uh, fly over a fire here off the nose of the airplane. Uh, 73s to you all, and thanks again. W7NY Air Mobile is off and clear. Uh, I was saying that's the fire that's showing on here, but this one. That's another one, right? Yeah. That may be a new one. That's there's, what I'm thinking. Yeah, there's no TFR over it. It definitely looks active, because you can see the plumes, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we'll fly over it. Okay. I'll take a look. We're not, we're not in any TFRs. Right. And we're well above even the ones that are out there, so we'll get uh, built down in there. Visual approach, runway 35 and use advise on initial contact, you have ATIS information, X-ray.